Hello guys and welcome, it's that SLB2 dude. This is another episode of In The Mind. In this episode, we're basically gonna talk about everything about being aware of your teammates and being aware of man advantage to dictate whenever you need to push or not in tower control. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also like the video. Let's try and go for 3000 likes. Appreciate it and I hope you guys enjoy the video. When it's with longer range weapons, so like, I mean, I'm holding a 96 cal. Yeah, it's a super long range weapon. It's kind of like a rule of, like a rule thing that I think about when I, when I, um, play this game. Like, when I'm trying to position myself, I always try to position myself in a place where I have the most amount of range out of my weapon. And if I, um, like, let's say too close to a wall, uh, it's not gonna, like, I'm, I'm gonna always try to reposition myself so that I'm always shooting further or not shooting at a wall or something, if that makes any real sense. Uh, either way, all right, the composition of the team is like very, very backline. Um, I think the thing that we probably need to focus on in this game is just making sure we shut down their splash. Because uh, they're not going to have... The I think they're going to struggle a little bit with the, the... Because they can't move until they use their crab tank, which they've already used their crab tank already. So uh, we don't need to move just yet. I think we want to look for, like, one pick before we, like, do anything. This guy's, like... Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna back up from that. I can't... I'm not in a good position to get that guy. There's a range blaster on a right. I'm gonna try and paint that. I have to really succumb to 96 gals, uh, RNG, so, like... Sometimes I might hit, sometimes I might not. There's a guy right here. Challenge him there. I'm gonna wait just for a second and then use my vacuum to counter that. Never mind. Okay, now I use my vacuum here. <laughs> I do I, I do eventually take out the vacuum guy. Um put it right there. Oh no, my, the guy, the other guy took my vacuum shot. Okay. I'm going to stay on the top here. I want to get this charger out of the way first. Never mind. I had to wait for 96 hour RNG to kind of fix itself there, so that's a little unfortunate. I'm going to try and wait for somebody just to get on the tower so I can get a quick pick. The jet coach is, is shooting and is trying to figure out where I'm at. Uh, but since they've done all that, they, they aren't going to know I'm right here. So once one of them gets on the tower, I should get an easy pick. There we go. There is a vacuum that's from our sides. I think what we really need to do on this map especially, we need to get at least two picks before we really start moving. I did just take up that guy's vacuum shot. Sure. I think what you find on this map for sure is that it's a very, very stale melty map. Especially like when... The, it's like long range versus long range. Like we have two 96 cows on our team and a range and a rapid blaster. And like our splatter shot really struggles to really do anything. Because they're only they're only facing against range. So Alright, perfect. So we had a really solid opportunity here, so now we can really start pushing up. I had my 96 hour RNG just go really crazy into it right there. I think what we just do here, I'm just gonna vacuum early so we can protect the tower a little bit. Tower control and vacuum, very, very good combination because whenever you whenever you vacuum, you can kind of just stand on the tower and just like block almost everything. Like you've been kind of no noticing it here, but uh, everyone's kind of using vacuum and see how my also my teammate using vacuum there it just kind of leads the tower forward. So I feel like on this map, you have to really play it patiently uh, in terms of like trying to get yourself moving. If you're using a long range weapon, you kind of have to like really like bide your time and like try and pick apart those uh, people who don't make. Uh, I guess the best decisions on them for them so very very solid we only like died we didn't die at all so composition here we have dapples uh bu big bubbler okay we have a pretty even comp all around for both sides that's good right oh my god did you see that all right <laughs> we're concerned from how that dapples just kind of rolled in but all right uh somebody just inked on the left someone did just ink on the left i'm gonna put on the right here this Majority three and right, one on the left. We take the guy on the left out. We can basically focus on right now. I, I kind of want to ink this up first before we go ahead and do anything. Get my vacuum out just to block that guy out. Perfect. There's only one guy on the right. Shoot him out. Fake him out. I didn't get the good hits there, unfortunately. Hey, but that's unfortunate. Yes, I just reached and um, that's okay. Pot friend. Get the Hydra out. Perfect. I'm gonna start pushing up on the right. Um, this guy, one guy on the top right. There's two on in front of us. Take the middle guy first. And we got this guy too. All right, cool. Oh wait, right here. 
The Hydra, I just waited out the Hydra shot, uh, shooting. I'm also gonna just chill in the middle so we can, I mean, maybe one of my teammates wanna jump. They're probably just gonna swim in though. We're in like a little bit of a disadvantage, so I didn't, uh, continue to try and pursue that a little bit. Um, just gonna toss this sprinkler just to annoy this, this, uh, range blaster though. Dude, my charger does get one of the hits on, which is great. There is a, what you call, uh, Inzuka happening, or Trangzuka. Shoot that right over there. I think the Hydra's still alive, so. Unless he jumped out. I'm not too sure. No, there, there's a range blaster there. Three, two, one. One of these are gonna hit, eventually. There we go. There is an autobomb somewhere. Oh, my team has got that. Perfect. I think we need to look for the, where this Tetra is. It's on the right. Gotta be careful of the Booyah Bomb coming in and the Reef Cider. Roll out of that one. No one's can currently flanking. I'm actually gonna back up because that Tetra could still roll on me. So that's fine. Yeah, I think it's a good... W Sometimes you gotta like really like understand like when, uh, when you need to back up and when you don't uh, need to. I really try to use the HUD as much as I possibly can, especially like if I see uh, two of my teammates are down. Like I feel like when two are t down, like the whole push is basically dead. Unless like I'm in a spot where I know I can get myself a kill, then I would like try and restart and pursue it. But sometimes it's just not worth it. Uh, so I did even up the scenario right there. There's, the last two guys are right here, so we can basically fight this easy. There we go. Tetra's the first one I killed, so I know he's coming off spawn. He might come from the top left, though, which there he is right there. Um, I might try to hold him in just a little deeper. I'm going to use my vacuum here since that, that uh, Hydra's kind of just firing away. Uh, plant it right there. The Hydra's on the top left. Okay, I got to be wary about that. That's fine. I can just hold this one area and I don't have to push so deeply. A little ahead. Okay, we are two down. It's two versus two, so we can still fight this. Um, try and fight this one together. All right, nope, my 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 dually's got that. I can jump to this guy. Well, not jump to this guy. I can give jumps to my teammates here. Oh, I can hear him. The Hydra is up here. Oh, dude, if I planted that in a much better spot. Cool. Wait, there's a Tetra right here. He rolled back. Oh, I did get the hill. I was gonna squid roll out of that, but that's fine. Managed to stay alive there. Oh, okay. Oh, backing up. I did get one hit on this guy, but... Nice. Get this Hydra out of here. Oh, he knows I'm up here now, though. Okay. The Range Blast is looking at me, too. Not what I want. This is so awkward, dude. Kill him. No, dude, I did everything I could do to try and survive that. <laughs> I mean, ideally, it would have been just a better idea just to back up. Because it was, I mean, it was such, I was, I, I was in such an awkward situation. But I still wanted to try and take that Hydra out since uh, none of them were even trying to hit me too, so. Messed up in the movement just a little bit, but that's okay. Right, cool. I think, like, the, the lesson to learn from that is, like, understanding when, like, a push is dead and when a push is not dead. Especially on tower control. I mean, this kind of goes for all mills, but, like, on tower control more so, I feel like when you don't have the man advantage, you really can't push up that much. So you kind of just have to, like, really understand, like, what's going on and, like, make sure you look up and look at that HUD. So we have, we should have the exact same comic. Actually, no, we don't. We have a, we have the Hydra on, from, I believe, last team that was on our, the other team. I wasn't looking at the name, mate, but we now have a Hydra Swelling. <laughs> right, uh, on our composition, it kind of looks like my weapon is probably going to be, like, the most paint-heavy weapon. So I'm going to try and focus that a little bit. Uh, since we have the Dapples, it's going to, like, be more frontline and, like, try and be sneaky. Well, I'll let him do that by helping him just to paint. And the Blaster is just not going to paint, so they'll focus on kills, and the Hydra will focus on backline. So that's kind of what, how the comp's looking right now. We do have one down, which is perfect. I'm gonna try and get good RNG on this one, but I just had the worst RNG in the world there. Uh, there is one guy right in front of me here, so just not making sure I get noticed. There we go. We do get him there. Oh, unfortunate that there is two down right now. Get that guy dead, perfect. He's jumping out, but I'll kill his friend coming in. All right, we got the man advantage. We can push tower right here. I would want my Hydra to get on it, so I'm gonna vacuum here in front. 
so that no one even has the idea of actually trying to push up even more ahead. And then, um, I'm gonna shoot it all away. Can hold it. I don't need to push any further because my 96 has the range to try and take out anybody that's around here. Um, our push is dead. All right, so do they know I'm here? I don't think they do. Okay, well, I'm still gonna back up. I'm still gonna back up. We do have Trizuka there. I'm not trying to die to that guy at all. Use this three shots. We have two down. Now we can start pushing again. All right. Uh, there is one just chilling right here. He's one shot. My teammate can go pick that up. Perfect. Right. Last one's Hydra. He's going to be playing backline. He's on the far, far right there. I can push up to this position. I'm going to use my vacuum early just so that they don't have any ideas of trying to push any more earlier. There we go. One guy there. For that. That one on the right should die. There we go. I'm going to back up behind here. Got to take out this brush though. Who just used that booyah bomb? Actually, no. Oh, wait, the Hydra did. The 52 doesn't know I'm here, but I gotta be I gotta be careful with the spider shot also coming in and also the brush. Kill the spider shot! Okay, I gotta run forward. I have to run forward because this brush is coming and he's gonna try and kill me. And I don't like that because he just came a spawn and we killed him earlier. Gotta really pay attention on when people are spawning and when, like, pay attention, like, when people have died or when they're respawning and all that type of jazz because... When it comes to, like, sharking into the spawn, that helps so, so much. Even with, a, like, uh, when the v weapon's not even so conventional for you. Dang. Alright. <laughs> so they did that. They played that really well. Basically, the Hydra fed me and the the Trizuka on their team uh, basically finished it off. Uh, it's something that you gotta really be careful about using the vacuum. Although it can be super good when it comes to, like, fighting against Hydras and, like, weapons like that. Um, I got very lucky with that RNG. Uh, it, it can be really good, but like, you gotta be careful about being becoming overwhelmed um, when you're using your vacuum. Like a Hydra or a Crab Tank can easily overwhelm it. It'll charge it up fully, but like, I think you gotta just be very careful about how um, how much charge you get. So like, I feel like once you once you got your full charge or close to it, start thinking about backing up straight away. Uh, I gotta take out this guy uh, on my left. So just trying to not die to this uh, guy here. There we go. He's one shot there. There we go. Perfect. Alright. We should be able to take this out. I'm in like the prime spot right now. Perfect. Alright. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna try and we should work on just since we already got the lead I think we can just like be a little bit more chill and just like work on like making sure we get some ink, con ink control here. I can push up to this position I believe. The Hydra's up here. He's gonna feed me. Okay, did that perfectly this time. You can swim in the hut when you've charged, so... It's a it's a really good to know. Uh, that that's a, that's a potential- that's a possibility here. Uh, I can just like- I can- I'm in a perfect spot. I'm in a perfect position here because- Oh dang, I didn't need to move! <laughs> I said I was in a perfect spot and perfect position. Didn't realize that there's two guys up here, so I just kind of like... Um... Rushed myself there, but yeah. Uh, I was in a perfect spot there because I didn't need to necessarily move because I can kind of use my range to my advantage. Uh, I could have jumped as well, but it's not really necessary. I think we're just going to win anyway, so... Yeah, man. Alright, that was a solid game again. Also, just, like, understanding, like, um... When, like, when it's good to push, when it's not good to push, because that's going to help you win the game in the, in the long run. Um... And that's how you get some de decent games like that too. Uh, especially in Tower, dude. When to push, when to not. If you got two down, that's when you push. If you don't have two down, you don't want to think about pushing just yet. You know, man advantage is uh, is very, very important in this game. All right. Uh, all right. They got a really paint heavy comp on this. this they, their paint on their team overwhelms us a lot. A lot, a lot. So I think how we're going to want to play this is that we're going to want to have to play this. Uh, we want to be able to get... We need to really get picks on them, like, really, really, like, as early as possible. Uh, in my opinion. Um, because, uh, it, it, the, the more we frag, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, make it easier for us. Uh, because they will overwhelm us, so. I'm just gonna try and position myself correctly here. We've already killed two, so, which is already so good, so we can already start getting something going. Um, I really want to be careful about the rest of them trying to paint up and get control. There's a guy right here. He's one shot. He died a little late there, dude. Alright. 
Get it back up. We do have the minor charges, so we still have s really solid control here. We have really, really solid control, but they are still trying to push, so Blaster might be able to get one here. I'm just going to wait for him to try and get a pick. Okay, he did get one. Slide my way around. Ugh. I tried to slide my way to the left uh, in hopes of getting a pick there, but that did not work for us, so... Um, there's a guy on my left here. I can hear him climbing up. Splash is dead. Perfect. You just need to look for that roller. Exit paint him. I'm trying to catch. I tried to catch him. There we go. Okay, cool. Everyone's pushed back. I'm pushing up very deeply. I'm gonna try and stop this guy from uh, doing any more damage to us. Attempt is here. I did get him out. Perfect. All right. I'm gonna hold this position and not make any movements because I don't think anyone's gonna know. Um, we're chilling here. Yeah, we're good. I'm gonna wait right here. I'm gonna throw a, uh, some sprinklers just to, like, paint the back a little bit. That guy's gonna die here. Perfect. We do just need to tap tower. I got killed by a stray missile, dude. <laughs> we're doing really well on getting the frags, though, because, uh, I mean, to be very honest, I mean, even though they do have a lot of paint, they're only, like, uh, again, I think we, it, we're in a situation as, like, as long as we probably kill the splash matic and their duelist culture, then they're not really gonna move. Um, which is good. That's the, I think those are, like, our two primary, like, targets that we want to focus most of all. Because the Splash, the Splash is, Matic is moving, like, frantic. I think one problem that they're doing, though, is that they're not really focusing on actually using their Crab Tank, which I guess is nice for us, but, like, you know, it's, um, it's probably what you probably want to do when you're focusing using a Splash Matic. They even died again just now, too, so, yeah, I, I don't think they're having a good time. Try and get this guy. He's a little too far, so I'm going to position myself going backwards. I wanted to see if I can, like... Oh, he's going really deep. Okay. He actually got the kill on me, though, so fair play. The score right now is not safe, right? The score right now is not safe. I did hit the Hydra... Not the Hydra, the Heavy Swiling just one time. I'm gonna toss that Sprinkler in front, so when they try to retreat, it's gonna be really awkward for them. I'm gonna feed... This guy's gonna feed me. He's gonna jump out, so I'm gonna shoot my Vacuum Shot, like, around here. They're all up here, so I'm gonna try and get some... Oh, one... This sneaky guy. My teammate will finish that off. Will he? Will he though? No, he won't. Alright, never mind. Me having faith in my teammate there didn't work. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna watch here. That heavy is very weak. Is that two guys here? Go. Oh, got good positioning there. Alright, we're chilling here. I think everyone's off spawn again. Yeah, perfect. Everyone's off spawn. I'm gonna vacuum this to protect my tower guy. My dude, you can get on tower and I protect you. Put that right there, just in case that guy just decides to drop. But it's not, like, not looking like he's trying to do it. Splash is next to tower. He's very weak. Okay, cool. All right, so uh, I'm going to point out, if you guys have noticed how I'm positioning myself, you probably noticed that I'm only ever positioning myself in places where I can make sure that I can get the most amount of my range. Uh, that's just one very, very key thing that you want to take and, like, take when I'm, uh, when using, like, a long, long range, like, long, long range weapon, like a 96 gal or a mid, mid range weapon, however you want to call it. Try to utilize that with every single weapon that you, that you use. Like, utilize that as much as possible. Like, any weapon that if you have super long range, you, you want to utilize that. Um, it's kind of something that I tell myself is that you're never really in a bad position if you're getting the most range out of your weapon. Like, if you're hitting a wall, then you're not in a good position. Close, if you're fighting someone on the other team and you're, Fighting them closer than, than you have to be, then it's probably not a good position either. If you can keep that in mind with like any sort of weapon, like it does, it's not just for the 96, it, it, it applies to every weapon, even with like Splatter Shot or Sploosh, like literally with those weapons, you can stand anywhere, you know, because that's that's the kind of weapon it is, you know. So we have a roller and a squeezer. All right, our paint is awful. Their paint's not that great either. <laughs> they don't have really anything. Looking at their team, they don't really have anything. I can. The. Blob might be a little weird to fight. The Clash, as long as I'm far away enough, it should be fine um, to challenge. He's in the middle of the map, so I'm just going to chill right here. That Tri-String is going to probably be my most annoying weapon to, uh, if they start shooting at me, so... Um, but that should, that should be good. All right, I'm going to use my, my friend's wolf for advantage. I'm going to try and also help paint, because I think... I am our best painting weapon right now, so I'm going to try and... I'm going to make sure our left side on this map is quit, like painted as much as possible. Just so that if my team are trying to back away, they can actually have a way to retreat. 
Uh, because that's like the only way to retreat on this map, so make sure that's painted. Like, I'm not like backline, but like I'm making sure that uh, my teammates got paint. <laughs> we probably have to neutral because we only are two up right now, and that team's getting kind of pinch pushed back right now. So, um, do we have an. Oh, dang, I shouldn't have died there. I don't know, like, I feel like right now the only. T our weapons are Splat Roller and Squeezer are probably gonna be the most likely ones to push up a little ahead, so. Yeah, I think that's what's gonna happen right now. I'll make sure this is painted because legitimately, like, literally none of these other guys are gonna paint. Other than my, my poss possibly my squeezer. But I kind of want to hope that my squeezer is using his top tap, their tap firing uh, ability more than off more often than usual, because uh, that's gonna be helpful, more helpful in the fights. I'm gonna use the here just to my 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 vacuum here just to push these guys back and block the shots. Do get the Hydra there, just move slowly here. Or try to move slowly here. There is a crap, a Clash Blaster on the platform pushed up. Yeah, fighting this top, this this platform's gonna be a little, little hard for us. Um, because we don't really have like the most conventional weapons to like really push. The Clash Blaster got a really good pick of me with the uh, with the uh, Trizuka. As long as we kill that that Clash Blaster, their team loses this game. I, uh, that's that's the very very unfortunate scenario about this game. That team basically loses its game as, as long as we kill that clash, because the heavy splatling, blob, and tri stringer are not going to be the ones frontlining. Like, I feel like the heavy splatling is just like consider their backline is going to be the one that's way more likely to push. Also, I should not be pushing. I should not have done that at all. I need to. I sh first of all, I need to really paint up this left side again because. Uh, it's, uh, it's not painted enough, and, uh, we're losing a whole lot of control. More than we should, so... I'm gonna try and focus on that. Because even you can see here, my teammate couldn't even back up safely, or safe enough, uh, to where I want- to where I, ideally they would want to be. Which is, like, where this, this block I'm at. Uh, and that could have been prevented if I painted it. So, let me go ahead and do that. This is literally that kind of game right now, because... Uh, just to talk about the 96 at least, like, the weapon, obviously, you probably heard that it has some really inconsistent shooting. Like, there's sometimes you might have to cross it on the weapon, or on someone, and they don't die. There's a lot of reasons to that, because, of course, that random number generator is a thing, or our thing with this weapon. But, despite that, it does have really solid painting. That's one thing it does have. Like, it will kill, but it, it's, it, it's just very inconsistent at killing, but painting... Hell yeah, you got that. It's it's really decent on that. Especially since you have a sprinkler, which is going to help a little bit more with paint uh, at the same time. So uh, that's thing to uh, kind of kind of like. I feel like if if in this game this weapon gets a, a, a splash rule, it's going to be a lot easier to actually win some fights or more fights. I should get one more kill. No, oh, okay. Well, the hydraulic, the heavy would have killed that, died there. But um, if we're talking about fighting with the 96, uh. I guess one tip I can throw out there is just making sure that you shoot lower to the lower to the inkling. Like if you don't want to make sure that you don't want to shoot like over the inkling's head, like or on the inkling's head uh, with your crosshair. Uh, the 96 does not become more accurate there. As you saw in that shot, at least I shot lower, like lower towards the, the inkling's foot. For whatever reason, it makes the the, the shot RNG just a, that just that smidge a little bit better. So. Uh, keep that in mind if you're playing this weapon. That game, I definitely could have painted a whole lot more. I definitely could have painted more. Um, but we'll keep that for now because that's just how things go. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a whole solid series right there, you know? So, 